what's up, Kemti here and welcome to my new tutorial. So you guys wanted me to make a tutorial on how to make lava textures for the Cinema 4D uh, for 3D text. So today I'm going to do it and um, yeah, so let's start. This is what we are going to create. I will even think that actually every single lava material looks different to another one. So this is the way I do it. You can make your own one just playing around with the settings I'm telling you. Um, and yeah, I guess you just have to play around with them so that it looks different. And you can also use different textures. I'm going to be putting the two textures I'm using for this material into the description so you can download them. Actually, I found them just by uh, searching for lava texture on Google. And I actually took that one as first one, and a black and gray one as the other one, this one. So I used these two textures, I'm going to be putting them in the description so you can download them. Um, and yeah, let's start. So first of all, I'm going to be deleting the material of the text. So if you run out your text now, it will look like this because there's no text on here, uh, material. So um, just set up your text, um, I made the depth to 200 and the font to Federal Service Expanded Bold. I've put the caps on both fillet caps and steps 1, radius 1 centimeter. Make your own text however you want to have it. Um, the thing of this tutorial is the material. So uh, for that, make a new material, double click it for getting in the, in the editor of the material. First of all, put the color to white. Wow. And now, texture. Go on that arrow, hit it, and load image. Now, load the first one. I'm using this orange, gray, black one. Open it, hit no, because this will just create a duplication of it. So just hit no. And now hit that button again and put the put the thing on colorizer. So actually you will have it that red, but we don't want to have it red, so you just click that image, you drag out that red one, you drag out that yellow one, and you just make a black one and make another one, make that orange actually like make it a really warm or really heavy orange and I'll just move it a bit around until it looks kinda good actually I think that one looks good so that's just some orange parts now go to luminance and do the same load image now just use the second texture open it up hit no again and same here, put it on colorizer. And what you go and do now is basically make this one. Oh, wait, keep that one black, delete that one, delete that one, and do the same you did before. I'll make a new one and set the color to orange, like so. And I'll just move it around the black one a bit like that so just play around with those settings how you like it I'm just telling you some tips from me and yeah normally I'm adding reflection to a uh, material but not at this one I just think it doesn't look too well you can do it if you want to do but I just don't do it so now you uh, keep specular, specular like it was before and I'll go to glow so the inner strength, put that on about 50% and the outer strength to about 100%. Keep everything else like it was. And now to the probably most important point which makes it looking really realistic. You go to displacement and now you just um, load an image again make the second texture this black-gray one no again and 
<coughs> sorry, and put it on colorizer like this. Put the strength on about 50%, and this one just on. Delete those two colors again. Here's a, the one set black. Make another one white on the other side, which will let it look like this. But now you just go into the texture. Um, I mean, hit that button next to the texture and put it on noise. So this will make it look like this. And oh, I forgot to <laughs> hit that um, when we made luminance. So just don't forget to make those ticks when you make something. And the height of the displacement effect, put that on about 10. Oh no, I'm putting it on 20. And now, if you actually add that text to your text, it will look like this. Um, it just has the texture in the back and just the front thing actually is orange. So to make the whole thing textured and lava kind of looking, click on the material which is on the text, uh, behind the text, just click on that. Put the projection on cubic and hit seamless. So if you run it out now, it looks like this. And I think it looks pretty realistic, looks pretty cool. And you can use it on every 3D object thing. Um, I think it looks pretty cool. You can try some different things. You can try some different textures with the lava effect. And this is just how I do it. So now since you know the way to do it, you can play around and do your own things, I guess. Just uh, try some things and I guess it will look maybe better than this one um, because actually I'm not really using that effect that much I've made like one or two backgrounds with it but not really not really uh, making it too often so I'm maybe not too experienced and not uh, don't know how it maybe looks really really awesome so maybe you can find that out by yourself but I think this already looks pretty cool um, just with that settings I told you in the material you can play around you can also hit bump and keep everything just open up uh, load the image second one second texture no and I'll just put the uh, texture mode on filter looks pretty cool as well just doesn't change too much but it makes it a bit, you know, gives it a bit more, I don't know how to explain it, which is, um, it's a bit different to the other one, um, a bit brighter, but anyways, um, just play around with the settings and I guess you will find out the way how you really like it. So if you have any other tutorial suggestions, please leave them in the comment section. Like I said, I'm going to be putting the textures into the description so you can download them and practicing with them. So, yeah. Um, if you have any tutorial suggestions, leave them in the comment section or PM me or message me on Skype, whatever. If you enjoyed this tutorial and if it helped you out, please like and comment. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. So, yeah, I'm out. Peace.